is Rose Bell Fernandez and today we are going to take you to an implant manufacturing company. We are going to show you how the implant is being manufactured and what are the steps taken for the quality management. Now uh, you know the first stage of production is machining of titanium rods. So we are going to the machining room. Here you can see the titanium rods manufacturing the, manufacturing the rods are here. So this is the main milling area and that is the raw material will come and it will catch the material and it will produce it as per the specification and finally it comes here. It's a small screw, so actually it's an ortho mini screws, so we can make very small screws also. So this machine you program it, what, which, which size you want, suppose you want 3.7 into 10, you program it and you give the raw material and uh, you want 1000 numbers, it will automatically produce 1000 numbers and stop it automatically. So this is a Swiss machine and uh, also we have uh, a Japanese machine. You can see this is more clear here. You can see the abutments are produced from the right side. These are the abutments that are produced. This is the inventory room, raw material room. So you know this is the raw material room, it will come that way and once it comes we will test it like the diameter, the length, everything is perfect and if it is perfect we will keep it as approved here or if it is not it, it goes to rejection. So even the raw material comes they will provide a certificate to us, ASTM, American Society of uh, Material Technology. So they will give an implant raw material is coming as a F136. So they will give a F136 certificate. Okay, this is 3 mm. This is 3 mm. The dia is everything. Even we test it ourselves. So okay. If you have wider diameter, that means you need to go yeah, for wider. Yeah. wider we have 9 mm. 9 mm. Right, if you, we have uh, a one, uh, you know, making the packing, I told you, you know. Yeah, right. So for that, we use a 9 mm. Okay. To keep the implants inside. Right, okay. We don't use stainless steel because stainless steel is cheaper, but cheaper. you know, a right. titanium will come closer to mm -hmm. this one, it may be a problem. Correct. So I found the rest will come sometimes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that, so as a quality part, we have mm -hmm. uh, changed all, even the implants are also sitting in a mm -hmm. uh, titanium right. uh, packets. Okay. So once the implant is produced, you know the implant is contaminated with oil. So the first uh, challenge is to remove the oil completely from the surface of implant. So for that purpose, you know, uh, we have machine and the product production machine. Uh, this implants we we have to use a uh, small boxes to pass boxes to get into the clean room here. So this is a pass box. So you know the pass box means we have a air here. And this air will not contaminate with the, the clean room. So you know, there is a uh, air inside the pass box also. Once I keep the tray inside, once you so once I keep the tray inside, I can close it. So once I close it, I cannot open it. So why? Because once I open it, the air is, there is air and things in this room. We do not want to contaminate with other room. So only the person in that room can open it and close it. Then only I cannot I can open it. So the idea is to not contaminate the air from this room to other room. That is the main idea of a, a pass box. And also this pass box is also controlled air. There is a uh, there is a air is always rotating from the pass box. So the air in the pass box is also clean. And so so one, one door you cannot open the other door. Yeah. You can open one door at a time only. Yeah. Only once he's open on, take it out, then only I can open it. Mm -hmm. 
different uh, platforms. So one is uh, 1 lakh ppm, another is 10,000 and another is 1000 ppm. The ppm means like you know the machine and the raw material is in the 1 lakh ppm. That one unit place we have only 1 lakh particles. But in the 10,000 ppm we have 10,000 particles. So less particle that is more, more clean area. And after that you go for 1000 ppm, it is actually only 1000 particles. So that is more cleaner areas. So we are going to the 10,000 ppm area. But why do we need this room? Just to clean the oil? Yeah, but you know first we uh, using a hot water mm -hmm. uh, ultrasound. Mm -hmm. In the hot water ultrasound all the oil will be removed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then after that we have to dry it out. It's a hot air dryer. That in blend we remove it and hot air. So hot air. When the hot air comes, it's, the surface is clean. Right. So our primary objective is to remove the air, uh, remove the oil from the surface and clean, dry it off mm -hmm. because it is ready for blasting. Right. So using this cleaning and drying, it goes to another uh, another room. You know, you can open, see, like this implants. This is a clean implants. Mm -hmm. This is a clean implants. Uh, this implant, I, I can put it here, then I can close it, then I cannot open it, mm. only she can open it, because this, this air we don't want to con contaminate. Mm. So, once the implant comes through this, and clean it, dry it, and go for blasting. Mm. So, this is the primary cleaning. So, she will put the one implant on that, and that is going to blast, at the same time the blasted implant will come back. Ultrasounds first. Then you know we are using. Um, first, we remove the dust on the surface of the implant. You know there is calcium hydroxide blasting has lot of particles on the surface. So we remove the calcium hydroxide particles from that. Then, then we remove it again in a uh, ultrasound. Then there is a pressure pipe. We can, if any particles on that, we can easily remove it by hand by removing like this. Final. You know all the water we are using DI water, deionized water. Every water has, you know, the ions of chlorine and sodium. If we have a DI water plan, because if you have a normal water, it definitely affects the OST integration of the implant. So this is very important in the production of an implant. So we are always in the throughout cleaning we use a DI water. So this is a DI water. It will automatically come and close. Uh, once, the pro once the process finish, it drop off. So that's it for today's video. I hope it was informative enough. Thank you for watching this one and we'll be back soon with another video. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and until then, bye!